sure. I don't know if I can, I don't know how to walk in this, but I'll try. What am I doing wearing a spacesuit in Brooklyn? And how did I get it on? <laughs> its designers have a lot to do with it. Oh my God. <laughs> Meet Ted. For me, um, working through art and costuming many years ago, uh, spacesuits uh, really cried out to me as a uh, sort of the perfect manifestation of my interest. And his partner Nick, who has a long history in spacesuit development. I'm from Moscow, Russia. I've been uh, 20 years, almost 21 years in Russian space program. And uh, uh, last my position is uh, lead designer, project manager for advanced these two started the company Final Frontier Design to build innovative spacesuits for public and commercial use. They also want to give everyday people an astronaut experience, living, walking, and simulating flight in a pressurized spacesuit. Here's how it works. After signing my life away to the spacesuit makers, Nick gave me a brief history of spacesuits and their life-saving capabilities. Uh, and uh, currently it is uh... Uh, new era in space flight, uh, commercial space flight. Next up, I gave the spacesuit gloves a try in a pressurized test chamber. But uh, there's a vacuum pump underneath and it's pulling air out from the chamber. Okay. Uh, and it essentially mimics what you would feel inside a spacesuit. Fingers are fairly easy to move. Yeah, they are. Um, it's actually lower Surprising. torque than NASA's current gloves. In 2009, Nick and Ted teamed up to participate in a NASA challenge designed to award private manufacturers for crafting a more maneuverable glove. The innards of the gloves, which I'm fumbling with here, won second prize for their innovative design. Ted and Nick took the prize money, started Final Frontier Design, and built a spacesuit. I'm trying on the company's third generation suit. While the Final Frontiers team made alterations to fit my 5 foot 1 height, I changed into necessary undergarments. Unfortunately, because of design secrets, we weren't allowed to film the donning of the suit. But I can tell you it wasn't exactly easy to slip on. Both Nick and Ted had to help me. No one was exactly sure if I would fit into the suit, which was actually built for Ted's 6 foot plus frame. Surprisingly, it fit pretty well. When you pressurize, it's going to raise up, and so if you are okay bending over a little bit, that might be the most comfortable sure. thing. Nick has a great um, uh, imitation of the Russian cosmonauts on the way to the, to the Soyuz. They sort of walk, and then they get to the vehicle, and then they're back down in launch position. After explaining how all the pressure valves and gauges worked, it was the moment of truth. Once they closed my helmet and locked the gloves in place, I was shut off from the outside world and entered a completely controlled, pressurized spacesuit environment. Um, so the next step is to pull that visor up over you and you'll be inside the suit. And I'll help you with the latches at the end. There's a lot of room. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so um, it'll take some time to equalize, but you can start to close the pressure regulator. Ooh. This one? Hang on. So, how do I open it again? How do I... which way? Do you want to open? Do you want to open it? Once it hits one. I just can't see it very well. Yep. You're only at... you're at about half a PSI right now. Okay. What do you feel in there? It feels like kind of weirdly heavy, but also light at the same time. Touch the visor with your, yep. Can you reach out? Yeah. <laughs> Can you touch your toes? Uh, I don't know if I have the balance, but I'll try it. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. Right. One trick I like is to get down on one knee. You can hold on to my uh, shoulder if you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
We depressurized the suit and had a photo op for the next and last task, flight simulation. Ted showed me how to climb into the simulator, and then it was my turn. Closing the helmet and pressurizing made controlling the simulation a little more difficult. But I did sort of get the hang of it. Can you find your house? <laughs> I can't even find the ground. <laughs> At first, I was a little worried that I would feel claustrophobic in the suit, but it was actually rather roomy. Moving in the suit, which was admittedly a bit too large for me, proved to be somewhat difficult. I had to waddle like a penguin. But there's nothing quite like being sealed up inside your own little pressurized world. All in all, the experience was a great one, and it's certainly something I'll never forget. For Space.com, I'm Miriam Kramer. All right. Space.com.